here with another video. Um, if this is your first time watching, this is Yolandi, and I talk about, well, I need to talk about faith, fashion, and lifestyle, but I've been slipping, that is the truth. Um, so I'm going to go a different way than the route I, I usually take to go to the park because I don't want you guys to get bored with the same old, same old, try to give you shots of Benji in the meantime. Um, Benji's on hunger strike yet again, so he's looking for, I don't, I, this dog is not even a dog, he's a scavenger, unbelievable, perfectly good food in the house, he doesn't want to eat. Um, so, as you guys know, I've been, I've been making videos less and less, um, I think it started maybe towards the end of last year, and it's just like this year I really haven't been posting a lot, and I know why. Um, I might have to pause the video because Benji has yet to do number two, but he's on hunger strike, so I don't know what prizes he has for me today. We'll see. I don't know. So, right. Haven't been posted much. Why is that? Um, so yeah, hopefully I can remember everything because I don't have notes and I'm walking the baby, but I had a dream. Um... Then I posted a video yesterday that kind of, I don't know, it left, I said something and it left an impression on me and then, you know, things kind of just clicked. So, come on. So that's why I'm making this video today. And excuse this area, they never clean it or sometimes it's clean, I don't know. So anyway, um, the video that I'm, I didn't post a video yet, I'm going to post it soon, but, um, you just go to the last video that I posted and you can listen to it. I basically said that no oh gosh, come on. That um God is basically telling me to sit tight, um, not to be not to let things distract me, not to let my purpose distract me. And it's funny, I got a re revelation like today. And he gave me a dream. So it's super loud. So I'm going to just pause the video and get past these people over here and the main street. And then I'll finish telling you what I got to say. Hey guys, I don't have Benji with me, but I just rewatched the whole video. I wanted to correct some things, some of the terms that I use because um, I started to record like impromptu. Uh, I didn't really have too much like plan. I just knew what I wanted to talk about. So in the video... Um, I keep saying that, um, like, I'm dying spiritually, but that is not what I mean, because we are already spiritually dead already when you're disconnected from God, so what I meant to say is that I've been dying to self, dying to the flesh, okay? So, in the video, every time you hear me say, you know, spiritually, spiritually dying, spirit, spiritual death, etc., anything like that. Just know that's what I'm referring to. I'm referring to me dying to my flesh. This process that I'm going to, going through, and that I'm just in the middle of that. All right, so I'm going to put this in the beginning of the video so we're not confused and we could just fill in the blank. Okay. Love you all. Now, this is going to get deep. I didn't think I was going to get deep, but I actually have to. So the reason why I have been MIA, missing in action, is because when you start, first of all, when you become saved and you start inviting the Holy Spirit into your life <clears throat> and you have these prayers, you pray, God, let your will be done. God, lead me in the way that you want me to go. God, you are in charge of my life. Um, God does not just start changing it well he'll make some changes but you know you'll have all this motivation and this energy to start implementing changes but you're doing that from your your own um by your own will basically you're you're coming from a place of like flesh right so last year i was motivated i'm like let's go let's work out let's go you know take water aerobics classes walking the baby 
making friends, doing all these good things, trying to do this, trying to do that. And God was like, girl, before I do anything in you, with you, we're going to have to clean you first. You're going to have to wash out your vessel. Um, you're going to have to die. So Benji's, I think, perfect timing, I think. So why haven't I been posting? It's because I... Okay, Benji's doing... doing hold on, hold on, guys. So as I was saying, um, God is sanctifying me, is what I realized. And I am in the middle of my spiritual death, I guess. I don't know if it's not physical, because I'm still here. Definitely spiritual. And I didn't realize that until like today basically because God is not going to work through me yet until I am sanctified and um, that is why what I said yesterday about God telling me to just hold on relax is because I'm trying to jump to the end when he's not even ready for me to do whatever it is he wants me to do or start whatever it is that he wants me to start because since I'm in New Orleans, I'll give you a shot of Benji, I am unable to do all of the things that I used to do, hang out with the people that I used to hang out with, hang out with. Not to say that they were bad. It, 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 that's not it at all. But it is just like like a habit that you form. The things that you do every day. Um, yeah, the people that you see. The frequency that you might see these people, it's all a pattern. Um, it's, I guess, yeah, it's habitual. A lot of these things that we do. And when you stop doing the things that you do every single day, seeing the people that you see at the frequency you see them, whether it's every day, whether it's once a week, whether it's every two weeks, whether it's every month, once you're totally pulled out of that situation... I really think your brain has a meltdown. Not to say that I've had a meltdown, but your brain is like, what the heck? Like, you have made this drastic change. And so maybe I didn't feel it. You know, maybe it didn't make me, um, um, it wasn't a shock to me, the changes that I made, but it was a shock to my system, to my body. This is a nice house. And I had no idea. I didn't know. And so, last year, I was just ready. Guys, sorry, I have my hand on the speaker. Hopefully it's okay. I was ready. All right? And then all of it, I was working out every single day. I had all these plans, my plans. And I swear to you guys, I have not. I All the things that I thought was going to make a big difference in my life, I like basically stopped doing them. Okay, and it reached to a point, guys, I haven't worked out, and I'm gonna, I'm actually feeling it in my spirit to start working out again, but I've done, went through a season of not working out, um, I've gone through a season of not planning anything, like really for the future, um, I've gone through a season of literally just existing, <laughs> um, in a world where, well, at least in our society, because not everywhere is like this, but basically in a society where it's very competitive, you have to constantly be working, you have to outwork other people to be noticed. And I swear, living here has slowed me down so much. It's crazy. Like, because I have another job that I go, so I work from home and then I have a second job where I, where I go in. And they work at such a different pace oh my god benji just pulled me um they work at such a slow not crazy slow but it's just a nice leisurely pace where they're you know it's more like they're in the moment it's not as fast or yes yeah, it's, not, it's not fast it's definitely slowed me down um and yeah so i spent not the last and maybe i think it was in the beginning of the month or 
Yeah, I think it's like the beginning of the month. When I tell you I wasn't feeling well, I, and I normally don't, I don't do this. Like, I have shows that I watch, but, like, I could pace myself. And before, I wasn't even watching TV. And I'm not saying everything in moderation, right? But I stopped trying to perform, even for myself. Like, who am I trying to convince myself that I am? Um, I basically just stopped trying to perform for myself. Um, and I binge watched the whole show after work. I would walk Benji, I would eat, and I would just watch. I was, I was watching Grimm, is probably not the best show to watch, but I love science fiction and stuff. I don't know, I don't know how God feels about that, but that show. But I binge watched that, and I was at rest, I was at peace. Um, at that particular moment, I didn't want to. I wasn't reading my Bible. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing nothing. I literally just stopped and like zoned out. On top of that, I wasn't feeling good. So I don't know if at that moment God was doing like a deep clean. Like maybe he, I don't know how long this process takes, but maybe he gives us like a rest where we don't have to like do so much. Um, and he just <laughs> deep cleaned you. I was literally like a zombie. For, for probably like I don't know how long it took me to binge watch that show I'm not recommend it, recommending it that is just I guess that was my process um and totally engaged in the show very engaged and then it reached the point where I was like alright I have to get up um I couldn't even focus on the show and I guess that was God telling me alright you good it's time to get up now like I'm done for the moment and so once that happened, I got up. Um, I started doing the things, the things that I had to do. I mean, I didn't totally fall off. I just wasn't like myself. Like no list, nothing could have made me do anything. I was just, I was out of it. I was done. And I think, I don't know. For me, it's like I am empty. I'm completely empty. Um, for sure, I'm not who, who I was, you know, last year or two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago. It's because I'm not doing the same things that I was doing before. Totally brand new. And, yeah, I think outside of God, like, me dying to my flesh, um, I, my body had to have been in shock from this major move that I made because, you know, I uprooted myself and it changed everything. I changed my morning routine, you know, certain things, certain people you see every morning, walking a dog, certain friends, you know, all of it. It's totally different. And I, that never occurred to me. Um, and yeah, so I am basically interfering with whatever God is trying to do in me while he's sanctifying me because I'm not used to like being still or just used to being with my thoughts or existing and I'm sure within that time of me being a zombie um for sure I didn't have the capacity for the word I just didn't I sh probably should have read it but I just wasn't in it um but I probably should have like journaled or spent some time to myself but like even then when I tell you I wasn't thinking about anything. I was not thinking. I just totally like not. I didn't leave my body, but I was just like, no cares in the world. Just me, myself, and I and Benji, and me and Benji were just cuddling, and we just, you know, that's it, chilling. So, yeah. So that's what I mean. You know, um, how like trying to find from what I said in my video that, you know, trying to find your purpose or find, trying trying to find yourself, it can be a distraction in the case when God is trying to work on you and it's like you're not being helpful because at this point I'm so empty I don't even know for sure what I want to do I don't know where I want to go I don't know anything and that can freak you out it, it, it doesn't stress it, it doesn't stress me out now because I, I understand it but before well just like yesterday um 
yeah, yesterday when I had the thought that, you know, a distraction. Um, sorry, guys, I'm near the water now and I can't think. But just yesterday, when I was thinking how even finding yourself can be a distraction, that's when, like, I realized that it dawned on me that um, God is going to finish what he started is my end point. <laughs> I'm rambling on. Hopefully, I'm going to rewatch. Hopefully, it's okay. And then going to the dream that I had last night. Um, the dream that I had last night was very interesting. So I don't remember all of it, but for sure, I don't know. I don't know who's watching my channel, but whether you're, you know, religious, you're a Christian, you're this or that, maybe you have some knowledge of like cursed objects or whatever, or, you know, objects that carry a spirit. So I don't think, I don't think I have any of that in my house. It's possible that I have to go through and, like, look through, through some things. I know I did before I was, like, right before I was saved, actually. And when I was saved, I threw away a lot of my, like, the New Age books that I had. So I definitely did have some New Age stuff. And I threw, I threw all of that out. But in my dream, um, I put on a t-shirt that had this, like, black... The spirit looked like black goo. Um, like, tar. So... Um, I don't know why I put the shirt on or someone threw the shirt at me and when the shirt touched my skin I could see that the black goo the tar from the shirt was trying to stick onto my body to my skin and in the dream I was like pulling it off like I was pulling off the tar and it was a living thing whatever it is is living tar some kind of spirit so in my dream I kind of I got to pull that off pull it off and basically for me I felt like just being aware that that thing was on me and that I was just getting rid of it um showed me that you know like I was clean like spiritually clean that's what I got from it can be wrong but that's what I got from it and so I just feel like um that dream just ties into like everything that's going on with me now like God is like you know, I can't do something new on you if you have, like, this tar, this black goo, whatever spirit is on you. So, you know, even if you think you're ready to do what it is that God wants you to do, you might not even be ready. Or you might have a spirit on you that you don't even know, you're not aware of, you don't know what the spirit is. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're a good person or not, because I'm, I... In my eyes, I'm not a bad person. In my eyes, I wouldn't think that I have some, you know evil spirit or a bad spirit on me or some bad energy but i'm sure i didn't have that dream for no reason so like i said i came here to new orleans from new york with little so i don't think i have anything but i'm gonna check my stuff just to make sure and then um i think at this point sorry i'm gonna sum it all up guys i'm almost done um at this point i am reading the bible again and i have this calendar kind of a calendar that it tells you which book and what scripture to read every single day um, for a year so if any of, if any of you guys are interested in that i'm gonna have it in the description so you can check that out and um yeah so i in the meantime while i'm waiting on god to finish finish me finish my the new person um because you know there's a scripture that says you can't put new wine in old wine skin so i think he was just he was he's created new wine but for me a whole new life but my vessel needs to be new needs to be needs to be renewed and regenerated and it's definitely scary it's scary when you're basically like dying <laughs> in real time like i feel like i'm right in the middle of my spiritual death i'm just, just starting to come out of it um because the middle can be very rough i definitely was in the middle of it when i kind of just zoned out of everything um what are you doing you have to walk you have to exercise come on and yeah guys so that's it um i don't know what i'm gonna title the video i was thinking to put i was thinking to title the video um I'm dying. I think that would be too dramatic and clickbaity. So, um, yeah, we'll see what I'm going to title it. 
Uh, let me know if you are going through some kind of spiritual death, spiritual awakening, whatever you want to call it, with Jesus. Okay, I don't, if you're going through any other kind of awakening, this is the, like the wrong, might be the wrong channel for you. But you can stop by and definitely, definitely listen. Um, and if you haven't tried Jesus, try him today. He's not a product, but he's your best friend. He'll change your life. And it won't look like how you think it'll look. And that's it. Anyway, I love you guys. And I hope this video finds you well. I, I'm, I hope you like the topic today. Um, thank you for the new subscribers. You guys are the bomb. You definitely helped to motivate me to get back into it. Um, especially, like I said, there's, there's just nothing going on in my life. Besides me dying spiritually, basically. So... Um, hopefully when God lets me back into the world, you know, new opportunities will come my way and things will be brighter and more amazing. It's always wonderful to be alive, but, you know, life you have to live too. So when God lets me out, I guess, of my spiritual hospital, um, I'll see you guys. I'll be around, but maybe we'll have some more, like, interesting and fun things to talk about. All right. And I love you guys. You all stay good. And none of us knows what good is, so you gotta talk to God about that. Alright? Bye.